What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back with another freaking video. I want to say, man, thank you all who recently joined the Cryer family. We are on the road right now to 543K. I probably shouldn't even be saying that because this is like when we drop videos, man, the subscribers go down. Like, for instance, I've been uploading a video, what, almost a week now? Y'all know that's very rare for me not to upload a video for a week unless something is wrong or people think that something is wrong. And sometimes something could be wrong. But these days now, man, like, I'm a man of very little words, man. I'm more like one of those guys now. I'm a man of action. But I do appreciate you guys who recently pulled up, man. It means a lot to me. Because as I said in many videos, YouTube has over, is it said a billion users? Is it a billion users or a hundred billion? That wouldn't be realistic, would it? A hundred billion users. Maybe it is realistic. But I'm just gonna say YouTube has over a billion users. And when I say users, I mean content creators combined with the people who actually watch and support our channels and our videos as far as our content and stuff like that, man. So it does feel really good to know that someone like me, little old me, people would tend and continue to subscribe to my channel. And that is something, man, I am forever going to be forever, 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 forever grateful for right there. Because, and the reason why I say that, because I want to acknowledge you guys, you know, because you guys could be watching anybody. You guys could be going to any channel and watching any channel. And what you guys do, but people still, for some reason, they pull up over here on a crier family and they don't just watch my videos. They actually hit the subscribe button. That way they can be notified every time I drop a video. So I wanted to start the video off by saying that right there, that I do appreciate you guys. Support means a lot to me, man. And you know, that's what this video right here is really gonna be about. Um, when I turned this camera on today, I knew what I wanted to do. Um, but at the same time, I was a tad bit confused about what I wanted to do, dropping my first video back. And when I say back, it's not like I've been gone for months, um, but it's very rare that I take a whole entire week off almost. But this is my first video back. And you know, I guess my first video back, I wanna just sit down and just kind of vibe with you guys for a while. Um, you know, I put a, a uh, post up the other night I think it might have been Saturday night. I end up posting the live, but I was gonna go live at um, 10 o'clock p.m. And there was a lot of people, it was like 35, 40 people waiting on me to go live. And I end up taking the live down. And, you know, it's just that I wanted to do it that night, but then it was like, nah, I'm cool, I'm cool. But, um, so again, I knew what I wanted to do when I sat down to turn the camera on, but I wasn't for sure. I wanted to do it. But I will say this right here, after this video, I will be back uploading for you guys. Um, I got a seafood boil coming. You guys might actually get that video today, a double upload. If not, I got another video coming where I'm gonna be trying baby food for the first time, guys. So if that's something that you guys wanna see, yes, that's what I said. Trying baby food for the first time. Y'all know I got a daughter, she's still a baby. And it's like, I'm just curious to know what she tastes when she eats this food. Because as adults, as parents, we go in the store, we see this stuff. Well, I think she'll like this or my baby will like this. He'll like this. But we don't know. We don't taste that stuff. So comment down below if you guys are going to see me do trying baby food. Um, and I'm going to make that happen, guys. So I want to talk about um, support, man you know, and what it means to me. You know, when I was younger, you know, a lot of you guys have been following me for a lot of years. You guys, a lot of you guys know my story because my life has been an open book on social media. I mean, I'm, I'm the least less person that's really talked about now um, because I don't really have a lot of, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, a lot of, loud stuff going on on the internet that involves my name. 
Thank God for that. It took a while to get here, man. It took a while to get here. But a lot of you guys know a lot about me. A lot of stuff I put out there about me because I don't want you guys to find out without me telling you. Like me being in prison, like me being shot multiple times, um, me being in trouble with the law multiple times, that I'm an ex-felon. Because I wanted you guys to know who you were watching. I wanted you guys to know who your children is watching and supporting so you guys don't find out on your own. And I wanted you guys to know the mistakes that I made in my life that way that it doesn't come as a surprise to you if you were to find out about my past. And there's some things in my past that I'm not proud of. But at the same time, my past is the reason why I'm here in the future. All those mistakes that I made in my past, they didn't come into my future because I wouldn't be here right now. I would probably be dead or doing life in prison somewhere. And so when it comes to like supporting, supporting me, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of you guys probably didn't know that I was a class clown. You know, back in the day, uh, I used to run away from school and stuff like that. I was really disrespectful to my mom. You guys know I never had a dad, so I was really disrespectful. Not all the time, but it's like, you know, I, you know, I broke curfew, I talked back, I pretty much skipped school, uh, tried to change my F's to A's on my report cards. I did a lot of a lot of stuff, man. And I think because the way I was back then, I was seeking attention for some odd reason. It wasn't no social media like it is now, but I like like I was seeking attention back then for some reason. I don't know if it's because I wanted a father or I wanted to just be a jerk or whatever the case was. And so I had people back then when I was a class clown, I thought who really had my back. Because when I would get in trouble at school, people would look at me like I was tough. I thought, but they were really looking at me like, you're stupid, you're gonna get kicked out of school again. You know, you're gonna get bad grades again. And I thought being a class clown and doing the stuff that I did made me look good. When it didn't, the whole time, I thought that they were like respecting me, like street cred, but the whole time they were laughing at me and they were supporting my ignorance back then. And so when I started doing the right thing, they wouldn't support me because they only wanted to support the ignorance that I was doing, the stuff I was putting out there. And it took me a long time to realize that I was getting support from the wrong people because, and that wasn't the people's fault, that was my fault because I thought that getting that type of attention was cool, if that makes sense. So as I got older, I still wanted that attention. You know, um, I wanted to people to say, hey, you a nice looking guy. Hey, you a nice looking man. Most importantly, you're a nice looking older man. And one thing about being an older man, I recently, very recently found out that that's what I am. I mean, I'm an older dude. And no matter how many times people say I look young, how nice they say I look, the reality is I'm just an older dude. <laughs> and that's just the reality of it. And it's not gonna change at all. I'm gonna continue being an older dude. And I get a lot of support now that I didn't get back then. The support that I get right now is genuine support. You know, people don't mind telling me when I'm in a wrong for something. When I did something in the video or said something in the video that I shouldn't have said I was wrong for. That's the type of support that I needed back then, but I didn't get it. And, you know, it took me a lot of years to get it right. And still, I still fumbled from time to time. I still fumbled, man. You know, and recently I almost fumbled my own bag, you know, because I stopped doing a lot of content, you know, because I wanted to just step back for a while. But not anymore. Oh, hell no, nah. I'm back, bro. But like, so I, so I get like a lot of great support now. Even though I haven't been uploading consistently like I should be doing, I think two days ago or three days ago, I posted an instant uh, story on IG saying that I haven't been consistent on YouTube lately, but I'll be back with videos. I think yesterday I did like two or three intros and I deleted all of them, you know, 
And I was like, I'm not focused. My mind is dis dis distracted because I got too much going on in my head. You know, just life, man. Nothing bad. Just like, I guess outside of YouTube, like everyone else, I have a real, a real life outside of YouTube, you know, where I have my own personal struggles, just like everybody else had their own personal struggles. But I'm gonna tell you, man, when it comes to support, man, you know, I found out, well, I knew my family, man, is really my biggest supporter. You know, and when I say my family is my biggest supporter, I'm speaking of all of my family, my children. Like when I see my children, man, it's crazy. Even my grown children. When I see them, it's like, it's never like, hey, how you doing? It's always, oh, hey, I love you, dad. I miss you. It's like all of my children. And I like to see that light in their eye. And it's like, they got so much respect for me, man. You know, even through the mistakes that I made, even not being there when I made childish decisions back in the day, they still support me. You know, I had a conversation with one of my kids this morning, man, and it was, it was, it was really, really nice because they reminded me of who I am. They reminded me of who I am and how much I mean to them and how much that they love and respect me. And that's the type of support, man, you know, that everybody needs because we all don't get that type of support when it comes to our family, you know, and because you got a lot of family that's family, but they're actually separated family. Like my family at one point, like, I'm not saying that we're not close now, but it's not like it used to be. My grandmother died years ago. She was 91 years old um, when she passed. And before my grandmother passed, like everybody used to go to my grandmother's house, you know, and my grandmother, like we knew we could just walk right in the door. You never had to knock, ring the doorbell. My grandmother was one of those grandmothers, like you just walk right in the door. You're like, there's this hallway and then you walk through this other door. And it's like, grandma was right there all the time. So it's like, when she passed away, I got a chance to see family at the funeral that I had never met before. And that's when I realized I had family in Cleveland and other states around the world that was my grandmother's relatives. And so after that, it's like people wasn't really close anymore. Family wasn't close anymore. And so then you had to struggle around to talk to your relatives, your cousins, to get close to the people that you want to be close to in your life when it comes to family. And it'd be nice to be close to everybody, but unfortunately it doesn't work like that. But it's like over the years, a lot of stuff has happened. A lot of people has passed away. A lot of people moved on. And so I say that to say this, that when I don't like upload videos consistently like this, and I know I have to explain myself to nobody, but this is my first video back in almost a week. And so it's going to be a sit down video. Um, a lot of times when I don't upload videos, it is because I am actually going through something. It doesn't mean like it could be anything thinking about something that's happened to me, something that's happened in my past. And sometimes, man, a lot of things start flashing right before your eyes. I don't know why lately, but a lot of stuff has kind of flashed through my mind of things that I did when I was younger. Just recently, I was thinking about the weirdest thing, man. Um, and I don't know why I was thinking about it, but when I was younger, uh, very young, I, I can't even tell you guys how old I was. Um, maybe I was like 12, 13 years old. And there was this guy who used to work on cars. He was the, everybody has a neighborhood mechanic. And this guy, um, he used to work on cars. And we used to always like cut through his yard, like a shortcut just to get to where we are going. And so I cut through this guy's yard one day, the mechanic used to work on cars. And as I cut through his yard, I wasn't for sure like what was going on. I see police cars, tape, fire engines, and I get through everything and I see this guy who works on the cars in the alley. He's in his garage, laying on the floor. And I remember seeing a little blood like trickling out of his ear and he was laying on the floor. Apparently he was dead. It was the first time I had seen a dead body in my life. I don't know why like that dawned on me, it crossed my mind. And I don't know why I thought about that recently. 
And recently, I had a dream about me skipping school when I was younger. It was the weirdest thing. Like, why am I thinking about this stuff? Why is this stuff crossing me? And so, when I said I had a conversation this morning uh, with one of my kids, it was it was it was actually kind of fun and funny because I kind of like told him what was going on, like the thoughts I had, <laughs> and he was <laughs> he was he uh, basically was like, yeah, are you? <laughs> He said, Dad, are you going through menopause? I said, <laughs> I said, listen, I don't think men go through menopause. It was the weirdest thing, man. But it was so funny the way he said it that it just brightened up my whole entire day. And so after that, I went and got my toes done. I went and got a pedicure this morning on my toes, guys. And no, I can't let you see them because they still look the same to me. They feel good, though. They do, but they look the same. So, but anyway, I said that because of things that as I get older, I start thinking about like a lot of stuff. And then as I get older, I have people all the time saying how nice I look, how young I look for my age. And sometimes, man, I seem to forget that I am an older gentleman because I feel really good for my age. I feel extremely fit for my age. I think I went and worked out two days ago and I worked out for probably 40 minutes straight and I usually work out for like 25, 30 minutes. And, and sometimes I think when people tell me that, I think that I kind of let it go to my head and I tend to do things and forget that I am an older gentleman. And there's certain decisions as an older gentleman that I have to start making. And a lot of decisions that I'll be making don't be the right decision sometimes. You know, and you know, sometimes, man, when I just sit back and I just reflect on a lot of stuff, I also realize, man, that the world has actually changed. You know, like things are not the same as they used to be. Um, I watched this guy recently. He was a pretty big guy. And he had did a video right before his passing. A lot of you guys may know what I'm talking about. They called him big something, um, but he had recently passed. But he did a video in the hospital bed days before he passed and I watched the video. It was really, really emotional. And he was talking about like the world, like he, he was a lot younger. No, he was 53. Yeah, he was 53. So he was like a year or so younger than me. And I was listening to his story and he was just talking about basically how the world changed, you know, how, how things is not the way that it used to be, man. And it sucks because it's never going to go back the same. I mean, hell, Donald, Donald Trump had an attempt assassination on his life. Donald Trump. And they're going to put him on a $2 bill because of it. You know, and it's like the world's changing. You know, you have to be somebody that you're not. You have to do things that's almost impossible just to be recognized. And the world that we live in now is like, it's so spooky out here, bro. It's so spooky. So much has changed, man. So much has changed that it's hard to even keep up with it now. Uh, so that's why I say, like, I feel like when it comes to support, the people that's in my life, man, you know, I value them, man. I value them so, so much. So much. You know, family is going to always be there, man. They're going to tell you when you're right. They're going to tell you when you're wrong. And they're also going to tell you some things that you're not going to like. But at some point, you, you, you're going to have to just respect it and take it for what it is. You know, um, I've seen a lot growing up. I've seen a lot of stuff that's been a grown adult like I am now. Um, I mean, at 54 years old, I'm the father and dad of a 10-month-old and a 3-year-old, you know. And with that comes a lot of responsibilities, you know, and I know one day I'm going to be, be out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be gone. And so when I sit back and just look at the way that everything is down, it lets me know just how much more I need to double down on myself. You know, with my son and daughter getting older, my babies, one of my kids just turned 33 years old yesterday on September 3rd. So shout out to my son, Akeem. Um, as you guys know, my son, Akeem, he don't have social media. Uh, he don't have Facebook. 
Instagram, any of that, you know. And I actually want to date White on he has social media. He said he's never been interested in it. And so shout out to him because really you're not really missing anything out here, man. But shout out to him. I didn't know that it was people in real life who really don't have social media. I hear people always saying I don't have it, but I guess to know somebody who actually really don't have it. But I also want to give him like a birthday shout out. And you know, it just reminds me that damn, I am getting older. My son Deontay is about to turn 40, even though he's, you know, he's passed on years ago, but he's about to turn 40. And I realized, man, I'm like, Jesus Christ, time is flying. Time is flying, man. But I just want to say, you know, that I do appreciate all you guys, man, who's always supporting me. You know, it does feel good to be an older gentleman and to still get the love and support from you guys the way I do. Like, uh, I think like a couple years ago, like when, like when all the drama stuff had went away and we stopped doing certain things, my views had started going down. And people have reminded me, like, basically, hey, you fell off, ah, uh, you fell off. But it really wasn't that I fell off. It's just that I was doing stuff that interested people. I was doing stuff that people were interested in when it came to, like, a lot of the, 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 the foolery. And it reminded me of when I was in school and I was doing stuff and I got all the attention because I was doing foolery. And so that's why, you know, I took to a different platform so I can start back winning. And that I am doing very well. And I'm very grateful for that. So I just wanted to say, man, I don't want to drag this video longer because I'm actually going to do another video for you guys, man. I just wanted to pull up and let you guys know, you know, that I do appreciate all of you, man. I appreciate all of my kids, man. My loved ones, man. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all mean the world to me. And even though that I tell y'all this every single day, every single day, I just want to make sure that I remind y'all, you know, that it's real. You know, one thing about me, I'm a genuine ass dude. Most importantly, I am real as hell. I don't have a fake bone in my body. You know, you bump elbows with me, you bump your elbows with a real one. There ain't too many left out here like me. From the 70s, born in 1970, you know, that's, 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 that's able to still do its thing, you know, still be able to come on here and do what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, if I'm uploading every day, you know, there's not too many of me left out here, man. When I look on Facebook, like I got two Facebook pages. I got my business Facebook page and I got my personal Facebook page. And when I, I don't always be on my personal Facebook page because I'm too busy on my other Facebook page. But when I go to my personal Facebook page, I see the same thing, man. Like people I grew up with. And all I see is t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? They own t-shirts. And it's like, yo, he's younger than me. What happened to him? And I realized people was just leaving so freaking fast, man. Like every time I click on Facebook, I'm shocked at who I see. You know, and it's like, people leaving so fast, man so fast and I see people out here getting shot and killed because of social media because of a video that they did or somebody that they you know did dirty or old money to or something like that it's just so crazy man but I want to take the time out to say yo I appreciate all you guys man welcome to the family man I appreciate it you know and um, I'm gonna try to get back being consistent on a crier family uh, just to give you guys a little bit personal stuff, because I try not to say too much, man. We don't really use intros too much, you know, because people don't really care about that shit. You know, they want to just get right to the point of the video, you know. But I am coming out with a new intro, guys. Um, I'm fit to come with a brand new banner um, and stuff like that, because I believe that when you when you run a business, you have to continue to upgrade your business. You have to continue researching for better quality, better equipment. Um, you have to advertise yourself the best way that you can. You can't keep everything the same. You know, you have to change things from time to time to keep people interested in. And if I can get a thousand views on, on every video I drop, then I'll say, 
then I'm winning. I'm actually reaching somebody. Somebody listened to me. Somebody actually watched my video and got something out of it, man. So by the way, I just want to say this too, guys. You know, during my little time off uh, YouTube, I've actually, um, I actually cleaned up my Instagram page a little bit for personal reasons. I had a lot of crazy stuff over there going on, people, you know, just weird stuff going on. So I recently went in there and deleted a bunch of people, blocked a bunch of people. And that's probably going to be going on over the next couple of weeks. So those numbers over there is probably going to be going down, 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 and down. I think I might have removed over 100 people yesterday. Um, so, and you know, like there's a reason for that. But anyway, there's a lot of changes coming, guys. Uh, again, drop a comment in the comment section if you guys want to see the seafood boiled mukbang or you guys want to see me try baby food for the first time, guys. But I love you guys. I appreciate you watching this video. Again, every once in a while, I do a story time video, man. And this just happens to be my first story time video of 2024. But I love you guys. Until next time, it's your boy Damian Cryer. Let me see y'all in the next video. Peace.